and welcome to Friday Sews. I am so glad you're here. My name is Delilah and this is my sewing channel. Today is going is my sewing vlog day where I just chat about just all things sewing and if you're new to my channel, I also have pattern reviews. I do a sewing video every week. So if that's something that you like, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you can see my videos every week. So today I'm going to show you some new fabrics that I got and I'm kind of um, embarrassed to say that I got more fabric, but I'm gonna show you some of those. And then Simplicity, or I'm sorry, Joann's is having a sell on their Simplicity patterns for $1.99. So I'm gonna show you uh, just a little bit of some of those that I got. We'll kind of check some of the patterns out together. And then I also want to thank everybody who watched my video on Wednesday for the McCall's 8029. Yes, I sewed up that fleece jacket. Kind of excited for that one. So even when winter goes away, I can use it in the fall too. So first I also just want to kind of talk about like inspiration overload. Like do you ever get that? I get that and it kind of cripples me. So you know I'll look on Instagram and I'll see somebody wearing a shirt and I'm like oh that is so cute and then I look at the pattern and I'm like oh I want to get that pattern but then I look at my sewing room and it's like I already have patterns. I already have like PDF patterns. I already have patterns that I just cut out. Why don't I just finish those? And then you've got a fabric cell here and then you open up your email and they're like, you know, get 50% off your fabric for today. And so I'm like hopping on the fabric shops and I'm hopping on Etsy and I'm looking at patterns and it just gets to be like, oh, like too much. And then your mind just gets going like here, there and everywhere. And then it's like you don't do anything and you don't like finish anything because you've just got all these like half finished projects going on. And so are you like, yeah, yeah, Delilah, yeah, I know what you mean. And so it was really nice this past weekend, me and my friend went up hiking. And so I'm just gonna take a minute to show you this so you can like hear everything. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. But just like, you know, remaining physically active and going out hiking and into the woods is just a major reset for my mind. So I recommend that to you if you're like overwhelmed by all this like creativity-ness that's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some more cute PJs that I made just after I talked about like inspiration <laughs> overload. These ones are from the Ellie and Mac uh, pajama. It's called Grow With Me Pajamas. And look at how cute these are. These are just for another little special baby boy that I know and he does hike a lot. And so look at how cute the buffalo check cuffs are and they fold like this. I think that's why it's supposed to be so like when they grow taller and then you know they've got the length. I think that's why they're called like the grow with me and then you just fold them up like this. And so these are the pants. I did it all on my serger. Well then I sewed this down with my regular machine but it's the softest like double brush poly ever. And then here is the cute shirt that goes with it. So it's got like a little bit of some color blocking in there and it's got some tents, some canoes and just some fun, you know, like hiking shoes. And I just thought that was just so cute. So I'm having fun with that Ellie and Mac pattern. And again, I will put the link in, in my descriptions tab below. Every time that you use that link to purchase something, I get an email and it's kind of exciting because it'll be like, oh, somebody purchased something from the link that you referred them to. So it's an affiliate link. So I think I get a uh, like, you know, 20 cents or something like that. But I just get excited when I see that email that says, oh, somebody purchased it. So go ahead and use that link if you want to get that pattern. But also there's so many other like Ellie and Mac patterns that you can get. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you, oh, so the fabric that I got for this is from Raspberry Creek Fabrics. And I'll put their link in the descriptions tab below. 
Um, it's not like an affiliate link or anything like that. But I wanna show you the fabric that I got from there. So uh, let me go and grab that real quick. Okay, so Raspberry Creek Fabrics is a local store to me. They're in Salt Lake, so I'm about like 30 minutes away. And um, I don't want you guys to be sad because this, these deals that I got is only when you go in the store, but they do have a website as well where you can get amazing fabric. But these ones, when I go in, they've got like a bin of fabric that is, um, I don't know, they say it's kind of like damaged fabric, but a lot of them, I don't even see what the damage is. And so they do it by pound. I think it's like $4 a pound. And so I got all this fabric for $8. All this fabric that I'm gonna show you was a total of $8. But one of them, I already started making this dress, and this one is for my daughter, and she tried it on. It's not completely finished yet, but I'm making her the, um, the Laurel dress by Little Lizard King, and I got this beautiful navy blue striped fabric. And look at how cute those flutter sleeves are. It's not done yet. When I do mine, I like to gather the front and the back. I'm gonna put a tear on it as well. But I love this navy blue striped fabric, and it's like a double brush poly. And so this was in with the $8 with everything that I'm gonna show you. I also got this from there, and it's, uh, like a ribbing and it's really soft and I've already pre I've already washed these so this is what it looks like after it's been washed and see it's like a little tie dye and and there's going to be like little blemishes on them and I didn't notice one on here until just now I can see now there's a tiny little hole in it at the bottom right here See, there's the two little holes in it, which is completely fine for me because I think this whole entire panel was probably like a dollar. And that was the only flaw that I could see in it. And this looks like it's about a yard and a half of fabric. And so that is, I'm fine with that because this is some good, really cute fabric that I'm gonna be using. And then the next one is this really pretty rib butterfly that I also got from there. And this one, I oh yeah, let me show you. So the flaw on this one is right here in the corner. So to me, it's no big deal. This is also about a yard and a half of fabric that I think ended up coming up to a dollar because you know everything I got totaled eight dollars. And then this one, I'm excited to use this. It's just a plain, like a spandex cotton. It's got great recovery and I couldn't pass this one up either. This is about a yard and I didn't see any flaws on this one. It was just thrown in that bin for you know to get your fabric by when they weigh it and then this one right here I thought was so cute too and I'm not I think this is like a um cotton jersey I don't know I'm not good with it but look how cute this one is I'm probably gonna make a dress out of this one for my daughter as well so the prints that they have like a lot of them and they have a lot of solids too and a lot of ribbing so you can go on there they have fabrics and they're not just for kids although I can see they are more whimsy like this like with flowers and stuff like that oh but they do also have animal print there as well so it's worth checking that out for the fabric Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you like a few simplicity patterns that I have, kind of giving you an idea if you wanna go to Joann's and get, just pick up a few more patterns. And by the way, this shirt right here, it is a raglan top that I made and it's with McCall's 7122. Apparently, I mean, my husband made a comment like, oh, well, I think you've been in floral for like 90 days straight. And so I'm trying to not wear so much floral, but it's hard. It's, well, I mean, I guess I could wear solids too. So now back to simplicity. 
I have just, I'll just show you what I have right here, but I'm trying, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of ready. Well, let me show you. Okay, so this is a Simplicity one that I've been seeing people like peeking around off and on. Simplicity 8982. And I do love it for, I just really like view C. But then also I'm really interested in making this uh, pencil type skirt mostly because I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for spring. I mean, who else is ready for spring? I'm kind of like over the whole winter thing. See, and then I have this one, but I bought this one like a couple weeks ago and yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm ready for spring. So I do have this one that I saw in the Simplicity catalog and I think this one would be really cute to make for spring. Simplicity 8593 and it looks really really easy. I'm curious to see what the directions will look like and let me show you the line drawings in the back because even A and D look very interesting right there. It's like they're not even enclosed on the sides. And then I guess like the other two look like they're enclosed on the sides too. But this one just looks like a really cute, fun pattern that would be perfect for like spring, summer. So right now I'm just going to check out their website. Also make sure that you put in the comments below any pattern that you plan on picking out so that you know we can like help each other out with some good ideas and stuff like that. So here, this one though, I've been loving. It's the Simplicity Pattern 9469. Okay, so what I am loving about this pattern though, what I think I'm really liking is the fabric. So I have a few patterns like this. This is Simplicity 9469. And I do have a few patterns I think that would work. I think what I'm drawn to mostly is just that fabric. And then if we look at the different views that they have here, it's kind of like, to me, you know, been there, done that. It's just a regular shirt. They also have one where it's got the tie around the waist, uh, but I do love the, the round keyhole type looking right there on view C. So that one is really cute. I might pick that one up. Um, let me see, what else do we have going on with Simplicity? Okay, there's this one. Okay, this one looks really cute. The 9467. The only thing with this is I know based on other shirts that I've done with McCall's and Simplicity with the collar that it's not going to give me the directions that I need. I'll have to go and look at other directions anyways. So I kind of want to find a PDF pattern that's going to help me do that collar. Because for my daughter, I made this shirt right here very successfully, no problems, very crisp collars with the Little Lizard King pattern, but they did also provide sufficient instructions. Okay, let me go to the dresses and we're going to look at Simplicity. <laughs> oh, no, hold on. It's mixing in Berta. Simplicity. I really, really love this one, but I already, I feel like the fit is just, it's just not going to provide the fit. I don't know, you guys. I feel like I'm jaded now with these patterns. But let me find this other one. Ooh, this is a good one. You guys, I have this one. Simplicity 9265, and I love it. I also have a pattern review on it. But look, isn't that perfect for spring? And the collar, everything, this one is really good. This one does not give me any problems at all. Also in the spring, you can make this long sleeve version and the bottom tier, I don't know, I highly recommend this pattern. Simplicity 9265. Okay, let me find the one that we are doing, let's see, that I'm doing a collab with. Let's see here. <laughs> I've been really interested in this one, Simplicity 9136. 
Let me know if you've made that pattern, if that's a good one or not. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I'm doing a collab with Twilight Stitcher and we're going to make the Simplicity 9141. Why I'm so excited about this one is because it's sheared. I think you'll be excited. It's gonna be, it's gonna come out like in the spring and um, I'm not, I know how to do shared. I know I can figure it out, but I haven't shared anything yet. So I'm, it's gonna be like, you know, some practice, but I think it's, it's fine. And I also love the tears. I love a good tiered dress. This, I'm not very excited to like show my shoulders and this, you know, fatty area with my uh, arms, but it'll be great to wear in the summer and I'll be hot and I probably won't care. And in the spring, just wear it with a cardigan. So I'm really excited to do this collaboration with her. I think it's coming out at the end of March. And so, um, and I'll have some fun pictures and things like that to show you as well. So definitely Simplicity 9141, I am going to be adding to my list of uh, patterns that I'm gonna go and get today. This one, the fabrics to use is chambray, georgette, linnets, poplins, rayons. So I haven't picked out my fabric yet, but I need to like in the next couple of days, but wish me luck. And if you've made this pattern, let me know. And if you have a suggestion on a good video on sharing, let me know that as well. Oh, now another simplicity pattern that I wanna recommend is this 8872. I love this one as well. I made one for me and I made one for my mom. I did a pattern review on it as well if you wanna see that. Simplicity 8872. That one you would make as well with like a chambray, cotton lawn, um, rayon chalet type fabric. And that one fits really well. I love that one. It's great for spring. Now, let me see if there's anything else here. Oh, I also made Simplicity 8856. That is another fun one. But that one, the fit is really, really oversized. You'll, you can look at my pattern view, review. I took, I did a lot of modifications on that one. So I don't know if I would really recommend the Simplicity 8856. Okay, what I do want to show you though is a pattern I've been loving. It's PDF pattern and it's a dress and I'm getting ready to cut it out. And that's what, um, that's also what I made my daughter's stripe dress with. So they have it in a women's size and children's size. Let me pull it up on the screen right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Let's see. Okay, here it is. It's called The Laurel. And if you go to their Facebook group and you join their Facebook group, they give you a code to get this pattern for free. And I'm telling you, I don't think it should be free. Well, I mean, I haven't told them that I don't think it should be free. <laughs> I would actually pay for this pattern. It is so cute. You can do like a, uh, the placket right here or not, but I love the square neckline. You can do it with long sleeve. You can do short sleeve, or I love the flutter sleeve that they have. This one right here has the flutter sleeve too. And so I did it in my daughter's size to try to test out the pattern and it's flawless, you guys. I tried it on her and it fits her so good. So this one I showed you earlier in the video and so I'm going to be cutting out. Hopefully I can make one for myself. I'm hoping this weekend, I don't know how it will go, but I just love this and I gotta show you how cute this is. I put my tag in on the back and I just sewed it to the back lining, but the top is fully lined. I love that because then it gives you a very clean edge. So even on the women's one, it's fully lined. Plus it gives you more coverage, you know, so like your bra doesn't show through and it just keeps it more structured. And so I love this Laurel pattern. I recommend it. Again, it it's $10.95 here, but it's free if you go to the Little Lizard King Facebook group and you can get the code there. Oh, and then the next Simplicity pattern that I want to show you about, I'm going to for sure get this one as well. Um, but First, let me tell you about it. It's this is my UFO 
that I'm I'm trying I'm not gonna give up on this make and by the way so with Friday sews I do want to thank Jen from today in Jen sewing room for putting together the hashtag Friday sews and sometimes she has like these fun you know questions or something that we can answer just to kind of make it more fun so remember you can search hashtag Friday sews to see all the other sewing vlogs and just you know have fun like binge watching all of these sewing channels um, but this is another one that I'm going to add to my list. It's 11, yeah, 1165. I need to get the smaller envelope because it runs from size 14 to 22. Well, I need to get the one that is like 0 to 12 because I need to make it in a 12. Because if you remember my pants from last week, they're too big. Uh, but I'm not going to give up on them. I'm going to go today and pick up the smaller size and just, you know, work on unpicking it and just getting it. Right. I got the pants right here. The reason why I'm not giving up on them is because, you know, they you got the elastic to put, elastic to put in them. But I also really love how the pockets, how you make the pockets so it sticks out in front a tiny bit. And so I'm just gonna turn them inside out and probably just recut them and just make them work. So I'm hoping next week I will have a finished pair of pants for you guys for that one, but no promises. <laughs> okay, so my video for next week, I don't know. Um, I actually might do another pattern review so there's so many different things that I can do, but just make sure that you subscribe so that we can follow along together and so I can see you in my next video. So make sure that you check out all my other pattern reviews right there and all the other Friday sews. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend and until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.